First of all, I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy Yule Season. And then I am joining the last of my pulls from the deck, Season of the Witch, Yule Oracle. So I've been kind of exploring through these for the last few weeks in the Yule Season. And I'm going to finish out here with these two cards. So we're going to do a two-card pull and see what comes up. So, Spirit, guide us and give me the message. All right, here is the two-card pull. Card number one. Wow, storms. <laughs> um, and it says, as within, so without. There are storms a-coming, a change without doubt. You know, some could look at this as a negative card. I do not. Um, there are storms in life, you know, there are, and storms are very cleansing sometimes. So I get this card is saying a change is coming. Whether we like it or not, change is inevitable and it is a part of life. Sometimes change comes with some storms. Sometimes there will be storms, but storms, like I said, can be cleansing and cleanse the environment so that you can start afresh and anew. So some storms are coming in. I feel like storms are coming in the year of 2022. Do not be dismayed. Don't be disalarmed with a storm. And after a storm, there is usually a peace and a quiet. So maybe we all will be going through some storms with Omicron and so many other things that's going on in the universe in the end and the beginning of the year. But after the storm, there will be peace, there will be quiet, and there will be change. So ride through the storm, you will come out okay. So that's the first card. Let's look at card number two. As we pick up card number one, card number two is falling in love. The thorns of roses rip open the heart only for the petals to bleed into the soul. Sounds like 22 is <laughs> going to be quite something, but I do feel like um, that you will do good coming into the end of Yule and into the new year with an awareness that whatever come what may, that you'll be still standing, you'll be wise, you'll get through it. And yes, falling in love, to be vulnerable to love. Um, sometimes we get hurt in love. Sometimes the thorns prick our skin, but we always heal. Pricking the skin of a thorn or a rose, when it pricks, it hurts for a second, and then you heal. So I don't feel like it's saying don't fall in love. We need to experience love. We need to be vulnerable to love. But the other part of love is that there may be a prick. And guess what? You'll heal. Um, and even with a prick, it could be a little slightly different of opinion with your love or your loved one. But that too will heal. Allow healing to take place after the prick. Um, and be vulnerable to love. I really feel like that's what those two cards are saying. Maybe not at first the happiest thing to end the Yuletide season. But you know, if you ride the tide of love. And if you ride the tide of life. You know there will be ups. There will be downs. There will be good times and bad times but the constant in all of that is that you know in your spirit come what may you will get through it be very very blessed and have a blessed season talk to you soon